What is going on, beautiful people of the world? My name is Garrett Wolf, and I am the host of the number one podcast for people who are trying to go from skinny fat to fitness freak. I've built my body over the last eight years through trial and error, and in the last three years, I've helped hundreds of online clients shred unwanted fat and embody the best version of themselves. Now, let's jump right into today's show. What is going on, everybody, and welcome back to the Garrett Wolf Podcast. This is the number one show for people who are trying to go from saggy flabs to six-pack abs, all without giving up the most enjoyable aspects of their life. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about should you cut or should you bulk? All right, so if at any point during this episode you enjoy what I have to say or you took something valuable from the pod, then please screenshot my face. Share it to your Instagram stories, tag me at underscore Garrett Wolf, and I will reshare it to my story and send you a free gift. So today we are going to be talking about should you cut or should you bulk? A nuance that people are kind of confused about, something people don't really understand because everyone seems to think that you should just go right into a cut. Everyone seems to think that if you're unhappy with your body fat, then you should cut, right? And while this is true in some aspects, in some regards, there is certain scenarios in certain cases where if you were to just go on a cut per se, you would actually screw yourself over in the long run by ruining things like your metabolism, by ruining things like your appetite, and by going about it in the wrong way. But this leads me into point number one. I have top three points, top three reasons to go on a cut, and then top three reasons for you to go on a bulk. So this leads me into my number one reason to go on a cut would be If you are unhappy with your body fat levels, this is obvious. This is something we all see. This is something most of the fitness community will preach is that if you're unhappy with your body fat levels, obviously you should go on a cut, right? But there's a bit of a nuance because you can't just go on a cut. If you're 160 pounds unhappy with your body fat, but you're already eating 1600 calories a day, right? You can't just go on a cut. If you're 150 pounds eating, you know, 2000 calories and you want to cut body fat just because you think you're not shredded, but you can't just go on a cut. If you're like 145 pounds and you're like, I don't have any muscles, but I want to see my muscles. So I need to go on a cut because I'm unhappy with my body fat levels. While this is true, if you are unhappy with your body fat levels, you should go on a cut. You need to be aware that there are certain scenarios where you should not just go on a cut due to you being unhappy with your body fat levels, like your metabolism being too slow, like you not burning enough calories throughout the day already, like your maintenance being too low already in the danger zone, I like to call it, which is about... 2000 to 1800 calories. If your maintenance is 2000, you really shouldn't be cutting unless you're getting ready for a bodybuilding competition. You should be focusing on raising your metabolism, eating more food and gaining a bunch of strength. So the number two reason guys, the number two reason you should go on a cut is if you already have a baseline of muscle built up. So I was just previously talking about you know, if your metabolism is too slow, you shouldn't go on a cut because you're going to end up crash dieting. You're going to end up regaining all the fat that you lost, right? So don't just cut just because you want to look like a superhero. Don't just cut just because you want to look like Thor. Don't expect to cut down with a slow metabolism and end up looking like the Hulk at the end of the day, because that simply just isn't how it works. If you don't have muscle to cut down to see, then you shouldn't be cutting down in the first place, but we're talking about reasons to go on a cut. So the number two reason to go on a cut, if you're curious whether you should cut or bulk is if you already have a baseline of muscle built up, then you should be able to go on a cut, no problem. And so this leads me into number three. How do you know if you have enough muscle built up? How are you supposed to know? The number one reason to know is if you classify yourself as having a fast metabolism, if you classify yourself as someone who's able to eat kind of whatever he wants or whatever she wants, and you don't really gain a lot of body fat, then that's a good indication that you probably have a faster metabolism, right? In quotes, because we all know metabolism can be kind of shifted in either direction, kind of seesawed in either way. So if you classify yourself as someone who has a fast metabolism, this is a good indication that you have a decent amount of muscle already built up and you should be able to cut relatively easily without hurting your metabolism in the long run. The number three way to know if you should go on a cut, and this is 
kind of ties into the number two way because this is how you're going to know if you actually have enough muscle built up to jump yourself right into a cut. And that are these qualifications right here. You can bench your body weight for reps. So if you're a 160 pound man, you should be able to bench your body weight 160 pounds for reps, at least like five to six, right? Reps, not just like two or three, but for reps. Um, you can squat 1.5 times your body weight for reps. So if you're a 160 pound man, you should be able to do about 240 for reps. This is a good indication that you have a decent amount of muscle built up so that you should be able to go on a cut without crash dieting, without crashing your metabolism and setting yourself up for long-term success. Because we all know the statistic that plagues us all is that 80% of dieters regain the weight that they lost six to 12 months down the line. And this is because too many people hop into a cut without taking into account long-term progress and long-term results based on their metabolism because what do you guys want results for like two three months or do you want results forever do you want to be shredded for one summer or do you want to be shredded for every single summer to come so you should be able to how to know if you have enough muscle built up to be able to go on a cut without wrecking your metabolism in the long term and setting yourself up for long-term success is you should be able to bench your body weight for reps you should be able to squat 1.5 times your body weight for reps and you should be able to deadlift 1.5 times your body weight for reps. If you can hit these numbers, this is a good indication that you've built up enough muscle because muscle and strength are correlative, not causative. But if you've, if you've built up the strength to this certain kind of baseline, then this is a good indication that you have a base of muscle already built up and you should be able to hop into a cut without hurting yourself in the long term. So how do you know if you should bulk? Here's the opposite, guys. I have three reasons, the top three reasons you should know if you should bulk. Number one, you're skinny fat. All right, this one is the biggest reason that you need to go on a bulk rather than a cut. Because if you're skinny fat, it means you have more fat than you do muscle. It means you probably most definitely can't hit those numbers that we previously just talked about. It probably means that you look pretty skinny with a shirt on. You look kind of like an average person. But then when you take your shirt off, you're unconfident. You got some man titties, right? You're a little bit flabby. You got a nice pooch on your tummy. And um, you're just skinny fat. You're skinny with clothes on. But then you take it off and you're fat. Because you have more fat on your body than you do muscle. And this is a good indication that you need to bulk because you need to build up your muscle. And if you don't, you're going to crash your metabolism by trying to go on a, on a fucking cut. If you guys know my story, I was skinny fat and I decided to do it the incorrect way. I decided to go into an aggressive cut. I turned into a stick figure. I lost the body fat, sure, but I went from skinny fat to skinny, skinny stick figure. I was weak. I was still unconfident and I was still just as unhappy with my body. So it made no change. It made no difference in the long run. So number one reason to know if you should bulk rather than cut is if you are skinny fat. What classifies someone as skinny fat? You have more fat on your body than you do muscle or you have a bunch of fat covering basically all of your muscles, unfortunately. The number two reason is you're weak in the gym. How do you know if you're weak in the gym? I would classify weak as not being able to hit the numbers that I just said. Every man should be able to hit the numbers that I previously mentioned. And that is being able to bench your body weight for reps, being able to squat 1.5 times your body weight for reps, and being able to deadlift 1.5 times your body weight for reps. If you can't hit those numbers, this is a good indication that you are fairly weak sorry about it. You're fairly weak. You should try to gain some strength. You should just eat in a caloric surplus. You should go on a bulk and you should focus on lifting heavy in the gym. Odds are if you're kind of embodying this kind of person anyway, you're likely a skinny fat person anyway. And I know it's going to be hard. I know I have these conversations in the DM all the time with people. They're like, dude, like I know you say I need to bulk up first, but I'm just so like, I just, I'm so fat. I'm so unhappy with my fat. And I'm like, bro, I get it. I get it. I'm telling you, though, if you go about it in the short term approach, you're fucked. You're going to be fat for the rest of your life because you're going to get frustrated. You're going to get overwhelmed. You're going to cut down and you're going to be still skinny fat. You're either going to turn skinny. There's two outcomes. You're going to turn skinny or you're going to turn fat. Sorry, you're going to turn skinny or you're going to stay skinny fat. There's no in between. You're not going to cut down and somehow turn into the Hulk out of nowhere. That just doesn't happen. That's not true. You don't have enough muscle. How do you know if you don't have enough muscle is if you're weak in the gym. What classifies you as being weak in the gym? You can't bench your body weight for reps. You can't squat your 1.5 1, 1 times your body weight for reps. And you can't deadlift 1.5 times your body weight for reps. If these, if these numbers are true for you, then this means you're fairly weak in the gym and you should go on a bulk first rather than a cut. The number three reason, and this one is hilarious. This one's funny. People tell me this one all the fucking time. People hop into my DMs and they're like, brother, 
I'm fat because I have a slow metabolism. Pause. I'm fat because I have a slow metabolism. That doesn't even make sense. No, my brother, you have a slow metabolism because you're fat. Metabolism is malleable. You can make your metabolism faster. You can make it slower. How do you make it faster? By gaining more muscle. How do you make it slower? By having less muscle. Muscle is the most thermoactive tissue in your body, which means it burns the most calories within your body. It is the furnace, the furnace that burns the fuel, the furnace that burns the calories, the things, the fucking, the machine that burns the calories within your body is your muscles. So if you have a slow metabolism, all right? You have a slow metabolism because you're fat. You are not fat because you have a slow metabolism. All right. This is a nuance that you guys need to understand. And you need to bulk instead of cut if you classify yourself as having a slow metabolism, right? We talked about previously, you should cut if you classify yourself as someone that has a fast metabolism. But if you classify yourself as someone that has a slow metabolism, then you need to bulk because you have a fast metabolism if you have a baseline of muscle built up. This is the nuance. People think, oh, I have a fast metabolism because, you know, this reason, that reason. It's in my genetics. It's something that I was born with. It's hereditary. It's something that's set in stone. People think of metabolism as something that's set in stone, something that you're destined to have for the rest of your life. It's not. You likely have a faster metabolism if you have a decent baseline of muscle already built up, and you likely have a slower metabolism if you don't have any muscle built up or any muscle to even show for it. So we're talking about the top three reasons to go on a bulk. Number one, if you're skinny fat, all right? Go on a bulk. Don't go on a cut. This is how you set yourself up for long-term success, not short-term gratification. Number two, if you're weak in the gym, you can classify yourself as weak in the gym if you cannot bench your body weight for reps, if you cannot squat your body weight times 1.5 for reps, and if you cannot deadlift your body weight times 1.5 for reps. Number three is if you classify yourself as somebody that has a slow metabolism, then you should go on a bulk. So these are the top three reasons, guys, that I could come up with for you to know, to decide if you should go on a cut or if you should go on a bulk. I hope this helped. I hope you got some value from that. Um, if you did get value, please screenshot my face, share it to Instagram stories, tag me at underscore Garrett Wolf, and I will reshare it to my story and send you a free gift. Other than that, guys, this has been fun. Should you cut? Should you bulk? I hope this helped, and I will see you all in the next podcast episode. Peace, peace. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hopefully you got some value. If you did get value and you want to learn a little bit more about how you can go from skinny fat to fitness freak, just head over to my Instagram at underscore Garrett Wolf and DM me the word muscles and I'll reach out to you and see if I can help. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning in today and I will see you all in the next episode. Peace, peace.